Hi everyone, this is Keisha Rogers, LaRouche Democratic candidate for Congress here in Texas. And I am standing here in front of a crime scene, one of many crime scenes across the country of Obama's criminal negligence and intent to starve the population. As we've seen, Obama's response to the growing disasters across the country has been, there's nothing that we can do about it. We could not have foreseen this crisis or have precursors or forecast this crisis. But I'm here to say, Obama, as Mr. LaRouche has said, is a complete liar. And his criminal negligence either warrants his immediate removal from office for being mentally insane or for just being completely negligent. Either or, Obama must go now with the 25th Amendment. What we're seeing here in the state of Texas is a continued increase of the disastrous situation with a 50-year drought situation. The worst drought that we've seen in 50 years. We have seen no rain in almost a year now, and the conditions are continuing to get dire and dire for the population. As we see here behind me, I have a crop of corn. I just talked to one of the farmers in the area here who has told me that it's a possibility that he will not produce, uh, he will lose 80% of his corn crops. Now, this means starvation for the population. The people, people are looking at the conditions that are happening in places like Joplin and other places that just hit, got hit by major storms and are being flooded out, where farmers can't seed their crops because of the flood situations. Well, we have the same thing happening here in the state of Texas and all across Texas where cattle ranchers are having to sell off their cattle and where farmers are not able to produce their crops because of the dry season and the droughts that, are, that they're facing. This means people will not eat. So those of you who are sitting around, monetarists, saying that I can just go to the grocery store and get my food off the gro grocery store shelf, then you should get in the real world. Because the reality is that the fight for Glass-Steagall means survival, means that you will be able to eat, means that we can have the credit system in place to make sure that we can seed our crops, that we can put NWAPA, the North American Water and Power Alliance, in place to actually have irrigation systems and development of our infrastructure and our platform so that we can make sure that we can feed our population and that means getting this criminally insane president out now and making sure that the resources and the emergency aid is available to actually put the nation on the right track toward productivity again. So this is your call to arms. Get out now and fight for Glass-Steagall. We have to get this passed before the end of the month if we are, are going to survive this crisis.